A cylinder is a solid obtained by rotating a rectangle on one of its side. It is called hollow cylinder. If we cover the hollow cylinder with base and top with congruent circle, then it is a right circular cylinder. In right circular cylinder, line joining the centers of both circles is perpendicular to the base and it is known as height of the cylinder. The area of two congruent circles are pi r square. We know that water pipe is an example for hollow cylinder. In order to paint a water pipe, we need to know the lateral surface area which is curved in nature. To know the curved surface area, observe, it is nothing but a rectangle that forms a cylinder. Hence, the length of the rectangle is the perimeter of the top of the cylinder which is equal to 2 pi r. And the height of the cylinder is h. Therefore, curved surface area of a cylinder is equal to the area of the rectangle that is length into breadth that is 2 pi r h square units. As the length and breadth changes, CSA also changes. To find the total surface area of a right circular cylinder, we need to add the areas of two congruent circular ends with curved surface area. Therefore, the total surface area of a cylinder is equal to area of two congruent circles plus curved surface area of that cylinder that is 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h that is equal to 2 pi r into r plus h square units. Observe, as the radius and height changes, TSA also changes. Volume of the cylinder is the space occupied by that cylinder. Just as a cuboid, it is built up with rectangles of same size. You can observe that right circular cylinder can be built up using circles of same size. So, the volume of the cylinder can be obtained by multiplying the base area into height. That is, area of circular base into height. That is equal to pi r square into h cubic units. As the height and radius changes, the volume also changes. Observe here. When the height is zero, it is no more a cylinder. It is just a planar figure that is circle. In the next video, let us learn about cone. Thank you.